This video will show you step by step process how you can embed your Kajabi form into your WordPress website. And if you haven't met before, I am Techie Girl, Kajabi expert and a launch strategist. So let's begin with the steps. First step is to go to your Kajabi, log in, then go to the marketing section and inside the forms, like just click on the forms, you'll see a list of forms that you have and select the form. So how you're going to do this part is like, I suppose I'm in forms and then I'll just click on the form I want to embed in WordPress. So I'll just click here because this, that's the only uh, form as of now I have. I'll go to the embed section. And here's the code, but before I copy the code, I'll make sure that uh, um, the form, the, the, you know, the looks of the form, like how it looks like, like the appearance of the form, I'm gonna change that. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm changing the background color and the phone color is fine. And as of now, it is set up as form pop-up, but if you want to just to be a simple inline, select inline and then save it. In case you want any text to be displayed over here, you have to write in the title section. Any other text you want to write, you can write here. You can only add a link. You can only add um, text, format it. That's it. Nothing apart from that. And yeah, that's it. So we have styled our form and I... And once we are happy with the look, how it looks like, we'll just copy this code from here and we'll go to the WordPress. Now, this is the page that I've already created in Kajabi to show you how you can embed a form in Kajabi pages. So let's just go to the front and show you how you can add it. So always remember in WordPress, if you are using a DV theme or most of the themes provide you an option of global sections, like you don't have to paste the code on each and every page. You can have global sections and you just paste the code in that section once and it will appear on all the sections of the page where that global section has been added. So we'll just click here and we'll, sorry, we'll start here. <laughs> so I'll just go and add a don't need a section I'll just sorry I'll just go to the settings it's a text it's better if you use the code one so just find another one plus sign I'll just go and find so as per your editor you can choose code or if you want to paste the code in the text it sometimes work if you go into the code editor HTML editor it works but in uh, Divi I've always used it like this so I'm gonna do it inside a code module and then stick and then I'm going to save it publish we'll see how it looks like exit the visual builder and this is how it looks like in case you want uh, this to make sure, like without any code, you can make it look nicer. I'll suggest you to do one thing because this is how we have got it from Kajabi. And I wouldn't suggest you to add any code here on WordPress or in the uh, Kajabi. But the best part is like if you're using a section, you just go to the section and add some background color, which matches the suppose uh, this color and then say uh, save. and then again preview it exit from the visual builder and now it won't show those kind of things like you know without any spacing otherwise you have to add a code there is a way we can add a code and adjust the spacing and all but you can do it this way as well so in case you have any questions you can put it in the comments i would love to answer now i will show you one more way like now this is uh, something like you just had a code and you pasted it in this uh, on this page and it's working as per you want. But what about like I have a website 
and suppose at the end of the website i want to add uh, i want to make sure there's a newsletter section on each and every page and this is my global section so let's go to this page and edit and add this code i'll just add it temporarily <laughs> so uh enable the visual builder and in kajabi the global sections are in the green color so we'll just go here scroll down scroll down scroll down and now when i'm here this you can see it's a green section it's a global section now what i'm going to do is i am going to add this one somewhere maybe here and code and i'll just add the same code which i've added there i'll save it and wait drag it over here save then exit the visual builder once the changes are saved and let's see how it looks like so we'll scroll down oh where it is sorry so here's the newsletter now if i visit any of my website page as you can see it's after my instagram um if i visit my about techie girl page and scroll down it's a very long page it's my entire story how it's how it started so you can see it's all and it's this kajabi form is on all the pages in my website so that's how you can make this section or make this form appear on all the pages by just adding it once and remember no matter on which page this form is you will always get the email addresses in the same form which you have used in kajabi like this default form so it doesn't matter where i am entering my uh, data like on which page the data has been entered or the form has been submitted you will receive the data inside this you can go and check in the submissions so i think uh, it it's like as of now you must have learned how you can add a kajabi form on wordpress let me know in the comments if you have any question i will record another video and answer it Thank you so much please subscribe to my channel so that you receive all the tips and tricks related to Kajabi and WordPress thank you have a great day